In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful WordPress website in three easy steps with free tools. And we're going to bypass some of the biggest problems that WordPress users face when they go to make a nice website. Let's jump in. And I'm gonna do this with a fresh WordPress installation. I have just installed WordPress. And if you go to my homepage, you will see that I've got the Hello World page and the 2020 theme that was pre-installed. And I've got uh, no posts, or just the Hello World post. And I've got uh, just the privacy policy and sample page. And I've got no plugins. No plugins installed yet. And my themes, I've just got uh, the WordPress default themes that are pre-installed. So this is a stock WordPress installation, nothing special. Now I wanna point out here that I set this up using local, local by Flywheel. This is a great tool for testing new plugins, new themes, uh, just basically testing anything. So if you want to experiment, this is the way to do it. Download Local by Flywheel. It's a free tool. It allows you to create WordPress installations on your desktop uh, and allows you to experiment to your heart's content without worrying about breaking your website. I do not recommend doing what I'm about to do on a production website. Test it first, get an idea how you're gonna use these tools I'm about to show you, and uh, then you can deploy them on your production website. So step one is we need a theme. If you want a nice website, you need a nice theme. And uh, this is a step that I have had experience with our members in WP Apprentice agonizing sometimes for months over looking for the perfect theme. Uh, I have really come to like Astra over the last few months. Uh, it's lightweight, it's super fast. Uh, the free version has lots of features and it's designed to work with the kind of tools that we're going to be using to build the super nice website in three steps. So step one is to install the free version of the Astra theme. Let's do that now. So in WordPress appearance, theme, add new. Just gonna search for Astra. And there it is, not Astral, Astra. I'm gonna install it. and activate it. Now I could go into some detail here about why I like Astra so much, but I'm gonna save that for a future lesson. Uh, let's go look at the site again and see what it looks like now with the Astra theme. Pretty, pretty plain. This is not the beautiful website I promised you. We are nowhere near done though. Uh, we're gonna go on to step two. And step two is to install the Astra starter site plugin. That is going to give us access to some really nice designs. Uh, and the plugin is actually going to do some of the hard work that uh, is normally involved in setting up your theme to work with nice designs. Uh, it's going to do a lot of the settings in the theme customizer and take care of a lot of the hard work for us. So let's go install the Astra Starter Site plugin now. I don't have any plugins yet. I'm gonna add new and search for Astra under plugins now, not themes. And uh, there are a bunch of add-ons for Astra. And uh, we're gonna take the first one, the Astra Starter Site. And this includes layouts that work with Elementor, Beaver Builder, and Gutenberg. Uh, and you don't need to have the commercial version of Elementor or Beaver Builder to uh, use this plugin. The designs work with the free versions of Elementor and Beaver Builder. Uh, so let's go ahead and install this and activate it. And right away it takes us to step three. And step three is a big step. It's time to choose a starter site design. And that's what we're gonna do. This plugin has given us access to a, a bunch of really nice uh, designs that use tools like Elementor or Beaver Builder or yes, even Gutenberg. Uh, we're gonna use Elementor today. And uh, I don't need the commercial version of Elementor. In fact, I didn't even need to install the Elementor plugin. As you'll see as we get into this, the plugin I just installed, the Astra Starter Site plugin, will install all the tools we need, all of the dependencies will be pre-installed uh, before we finish this process. So let's jump in and do this. So before we can get to these designs, we need to tell this plugin which theme builder we're going to use. And I said we're gonna use Elementor. So we're gonna use Elementor and choose Next. And after I select my page builder, I am presented with a template of 100 plus 
uh, site designs that are ready to go. Now, the ones that are marked agency are only accessible in the commercial version of this plugin, but the ones that aren't marked agency, and there are quite a few of them, uh, are available to use on your website for free. And they include many nice designs, and some of them even have puppies. So, what's not to love? So, I'm going to scroll through these and take a look at the wide range of designs. And uh, lots of them are free, lots of them are paid. We're sticking with the free ones. I saw one at the top I really liked. I'm going to use this uh, organic store. Uh, some of these will work with your WooCommerce site. If you're looking for a nice design for your WooCommerce site, uh, I highly recommend that you take a look at this. So I'm going to go ahead. You can preview any one of these designs and see what it's going to look like. And uh, off to the left, we've got a panel that gives us some control over how the site is imported. So this design then, this design and the content for this design, and all of the fonts and the layout and everything, the images, will all be imported into our site. We can uh, install the required plugins. Remember I said that uh, I have not yet installed Elementor. So this checking this box will give the plugin permission to install Elementor and any other tools that might be used. And if I click next to this uh, question mark next to the option there, I can see all of the other things that are going to be installed. So by checking this box, I will install the Astro Widgets plugin, the Elementor plugin, WooCommerce, and uh, WooCommerce Card Abandonment uh, plugin and uh, the Elementor header footer blocks plugin. So a whole bunch of plugins are gonna be automatically installed. Uh, remember, I set up a test site, so I'm not really worried about how that's gonna impact my production website. I'm just gonna be experimenting with this. So that looks good to me. That will actually save me a lot of time. I would have to go download all of those and set them up and activate them. Uh, it will also import the customizer settings, and the customizer settings control things like what fonts get used, and what colors get used, and what color the links are, what color the buttons are. So you definitely want to check that box. And then it will import custom content. Uh, that will be some, some sample pages that I can use as a starting point. And then don't worry, you can get in and you will be able to edit all of this stuff to your heart's content to customize it for your own business, for your own website, just in line with Elementor, everything is going to be highly, highly editable. It's going to be very easy, not like a normal WordPress website. So I'm happy with these options. I'm going to leave these uh, all checked here. I'm going to import the widgets. And uh, I am going to click the Import Site button. And now the Astra Starter Sites plugin is going off and doing its thing. It's importing that design and it's installing all of those so I'm going to pause this while this runs, and a few minutes have gone by, and the plugin has done its thing. It has installed the design and all of the plugins and all of the settings and all of the things I needed to uh, import. Now we have an option to view the site. Let's go take a look at, just a reminder, this is what we had when I installed the theme by itself. Now let's take a look at what the site looks like uh, now that the Astra Starter site has done its thing. And there is our beautiful new website. It's an e-commerce site even. It's got WooCommerce installed. Uh, this will display your products. Nice product display section. Uh, nice featured blocks. Call to action with a button. And uh, this is really nice. So I'm going to go up to the top. There's a top menu. Uh, we've got a product section. We've got an about page. We've even got a contact form. I guess we don't have a contact form. I guess we have phone number and email. That's fine. And then an account section because uh, this is an e-commerce site. So we're going to have a place for our customers to uh, manage their account. So you're probably thinking that's great, but I'm going to have a different logo and I've got different content. So this is the way it's going to work. Uh, you will be able to customize this entirely. Elementor has been installed. If you haven't heard of Elementor, it's a page builder and it allows you to edit content on the page and see what it's going to look like as you edit it. So I will click the link at the top of any page and choose Edit with Elementor. And that's going to open up the Elementor tool. 
And to the left, you see all of the different blocks that are available to uh, create your page design in Elementor. Uh, we're not going to use any of those because the plugin has done all the hard work for us. Uh, we're going to highlight different options on the page and make changes. So if I want this to say about our store, for example, instead of about us, I literally just put my cursor in there, click, and type in the new text that I want. And that's true for the text everywhere on this site. Uh, any of these Elementor blocks are editable. You can customize the photo. And so literally everything on this page is editable. I can edit these uh, numbers here. And that animation is automatically built by Elementor as well. So when you saw it counting up, let me change that number again in case you missed it. I can plug any number in there and it automatically updates on the page and then Elementor takes care of the nice animation as well. And so when I'm happy with this, uh, I have this green button at the bottom over here and I can click update. And that's going to save the page with the changes I made. And then there's a menu off to the left here at the top in Elementor uh, that gives me the Elementor menu. I want to view the page and that will take me to my website and I'll be able to see what my visitors see when they come to the page. And there it is with the changes I made. Now you probably want to change the logo as well. The logo is controlled in the theme customizer uh, because the logo is controlled by the Elementor theme. So I'm going to click Customize at the top and go into the Theme Customizer. So to edit the logo, I just click the blue pencil and that takes me to the Customizer panel that has the logo. From here, I can click the Change Logo button and then I can go into my media library and find an appropriate a logo or upload my logo. And uh, it's given me the suggested dimensions 180 by 60 pixels. So that's helpful. Uh, so make sure that your logo matches the suggested dimensions. And I'm going to go back to the media library here. So while we're in this location, you can see these are all the images that were imported by the Astra Starter plugin. And you can also use the customizer as you would with a normal theme. I'm going to close out of this. And that's our beautiful WordPress website in three easy steps using free tools. Uh, it's kind of amazing. Now, you may find that uh, this works so well for you, you want to upgrade to the premium version of these plugins or the theme, the Astra theme or the Elementor plugin, or if you already have Beaver Builder, you can use that. Uh, but you can get quite a lot done with the free version. In fact, I think it's possible to even launch your website with the free version. You don't need to actually pay for anything. This is just a really great approach to quickly building a nice looking website uh, at a very low cost. And that's your quick lesson on making beautiful WordPress websites in three easy steps with free tools. If you'd like more tutorials, please sign up for our mailing list at wpapprentice.com.